do it. God no, what damn. I was gonna say was, the yeah. No. <laughs> what I was gonna say was, every episode. I know. Whenever the music I know. cuts, it claps. That's I got where, it. That's where I like to start it. Well, getting yeah, thrown a curveball this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, without further ado. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pit Bros Podcast. My name is Corey Pitt Cavish, as your host is always with my brother. Laser Jaser. <laughs> your uh what 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 does that sound like? That was, <laughs> that was a female. No. <laughs> obviously that was a female. <laughs> no, but I mean like that sounded like a certain like group, a female group of singers. Three L W. You don't remember, don't remember I, them? I don't, I don't know. You don't remember them? I was in uh oh. They were uh, three girls. They actually became the Cheetah Girls. They evolved. Oh. I know the Cheetah Girls. Do you? <laughs> I, I, I feel like you, of all people, might be I into them. Right? No, no. Same yeah. channel, but different what? people. <laughs> Speaking of Raven Simone, oh, she's yeah, been spewing yeah. some wild oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's like, I saw a meme about the her being more <clears> racist <throat> than than racist people. <laughs> White she people. was saying something about how she's like wants to start a movement of getting great jobs for people with ridiculous names, or something like that, wasn't it? I didn't read it at all. No, what what was it? I just saw that people were. Yeah, no, no, was that it? I, no, I saw. No, I thought what I thought it was about was, um, like people with crazy like African kind of names, mm-hmm. like black people names that that they have like a hard that she refuses to hire those people. Oh, she oh, was. Re- oh, see, I thought I read it as the opposite. <laughs> she thinks that That's not black, like ghetto <laughs> names. I guess is the is like Al Dasha spelled A L hyphen A. Y- yeah, yeah. Which is a real I guess. name. I guess. <laughs> um, but so yeah, people were pissed off about that. But uh, but yeah, that's an that's enough about wow, that. Wow, I read that completely wrong. Before you offend somebody already. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just offended. kidding. I know and nobody has, but I feel like we could go down that road very quickly. Knowing yeah. you and your lines st- habitually in line stepping ways. Um but uh we also have a, a third person. Bird person. Bird third rest in peace. Third bird person. Rest in peace, bird person. Rip. Uh, too, soon, too soon, man. Dude. I can't uh, believe it. I got, it. I oh, man, I cried. Oh, my. I laughed. I cried. That episode. No, that that's that episode wasn't that sad. But I, I do thought miss. It was so sad. It was all right. Dan, it was dude, all Dan right. was weeping into a pillow. Uh, yeah, Are you sure he wasn't rough. jacking was into we one? Always, we, uh, we, we, it's been a rough time. All right. <laughs> it's, been a, it's a somber household. <laughs> yeah, a turd person. <laughs> but yeah, Dan the intern returns. He uh, back. Making yeah. his, making his, his. Making he's trying to, yeah. He wants to get a couple extra credits. Uh, well, his second sure debut. We help him out. I uh, sign off on it. No. I don't know how we are. Uh, We've tricked his university into thinking we're a real organization yeah. for credits. So he yeah. works. He puts in forty hours. He gets six credits. Everybody wins. Yeah. Just <laughs> we just pay him in pesos, um, <laughs> monopoly money. <laughs> Clue pieces. Yeah, but when he goes to other people's Monopoly games, you I'm best believe he's the yeah, richest he guy. Yeah, he comes in. He <laughs> just comes in and he's, he's pulling shit out of his pocket. He's buying hotels on the first round. Yeah, he just buy, like he waits till like the end of the game and just drops a a, a wad of five hundreds on the <laughs> table and just says, "Give me all you got." <laughs> Buys people out. Yeah. He's mergers. So yeah, he, it gets he's crazy. Like, it's advanced Monopoly. Yeah, for like corporate buyouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, so what's so what's up with you, Dan? Man, hey, what's uh, new, man? Nothing. Yeah, I'm you seem you seem uh, working. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Playing a lot of Rocket League. Rocket yeah. League, dude. Uh, dude, he's like going pro, man. He left me behind. He's he's ascended to the next good. level of Rocket League. Are you really? I, I'm uh, I'm I'm I get. He actually made it to bronze I'm, rank. Wow, I don't know what that means. The, all right, so you know, like I've been played like, in a while since like. Whatever you like, win or lose, it tells you like this, that number you get plus or minus certain points. Yeah. Well, until you make it to that initial one hundred, you're unranked, and then you get to bronze, and then you got to make it to the one hundred of bronze, then you go silver. Dan's made it to bronze. The first person I know to make it to bronze. It's all right. I'm just How's that celebrity life? It's okay. I can be an artist. <laughs> are you? Are you going to be picked up by scouts? But yeah. say yeah, you're going to join Pornhub's team. No, I'm not. Cloud Nine. Yeah. <laughs> I would join Pornhub's team. Well, for, yeah, for, you would say that, Dirty Randy. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Corey is a Dirty Randy now. That's all you need to know. What? Um, but in other news, I like the league. It's a good show. 
Yeah, I like uh, Raffy. He's probably the best. Clean best Randall character. and Raphael. Yeah, cause that's a, that's an awesome episode. The origin story. Did you see that one? Did you see that one? Did you like it? Yeah. You need to talk more into the mic there, Dan. <laughs> Are you scared? No, no. You seem, seem a little nervous. You seem a little jittery. I'm alive. Yeah, is that what it is? You just like... Um, Leon Phelps. Uh, you seem like a, like a very cool mathematician. Yeah, right? like Just a relax. radio host. Well, I mean, I've been driving a Lincoln. All right, all right. Lincoln right. Town Car. Before it was cool. Yeah. Before they paid you to do it. <laughs> yeah, before I got paid. <laughs> do you just sit there and just whatever this is? Yeah. Is it like a snot? I always, I always assume that that's like a little booger because I think like when I like scratch my nose and I get a little dry thing, I like roll it up and flick it away. So I imagine that's what he's doing. I just. Oh, he's got a booger. In yeah, his just booger in his fingers, just playing with it. What do you mean? He went. He used to be crazy. He used to be naked and play the bongos and get high. And now he's driving Lincoln. Now he's crazy, making a lot of crazy movies. Now he's making good choices, <laughs> making good career choices, and making yeah. a lot of money. He's probably the most popular he's ever been. I would. Um, yeah. There's since a lot probably of, yeah. since his youth, since his like there. prime, his youthful prime. Yeah. Bunch which of I don't know when that would be. Speaking of him, a bunch of people I know from school were, uh, um, they're going to no. all dress up as di- Matthew McConaughey from different movies. Like what? Uh, Dazed and Confused McConaughey, Interstellar McConaughey, uh, the fucking McConaughey where he's like the, 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 the sells the fucking, like, what games you should bet on. I can't remember. Never oh, remember oh, movie. yeah, that's a good ass movie. It is a really good. That's movie. actually probably one of my favorite McConaughey it's movies. It's a great. It's a great you movie. Know what I'm Tropic about? Thunder McConaughey. That's why he bets on bets on sports games. He's like a bookie. Yeah, like he he, he works. Like, he, he's he, on a TV show that tells people what to bet for. He, he sets gives his he picks. sets lines and yeah, he gives yeah. picks. That's he what tells it people is. who to pick. You know, I'm t- remember, you know what I'm talking about though. I, I think. You're. I mean, you're a sports guy, aren't you? I should know. You're yeah, sports. You're you're the you're, sports, you're the right? red shirt freshman of this of the Pit Bros. I'm trying to be cool. You guys taking me off. You're trying to yeah. You're, <laughs> I don't want this to count, you know. Yeah, exactly. We're just holding on to your eligibility. My fifth year is gonna be We're better than my first year. You mature into a bigger, to a more a of a man. Guy in the rom com, how to lose a guy in ten days. If that's what you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he was a sports. Uh, no, it wasn't that. No, bad. I don't know what the movie's called, but it was it, all about that. Yeah, it's, it, it, and uh, Al Pacino's in it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> Al Pacino. Yeah, it's a really good movie. It's a damn good movie. <laughs> Surprisingly good movie. What's the name of the movie? I don't know. That's why I, I, I have no I idea what it's called. I'm going to fucking Google it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, McConaughey's all right. How do we even start talking about this shit? Lincoln. Lincoln. God damn you. <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> the God advertising. Damn you. But uh, so what's been so what's been going on? Uh, the Vic, the Vic Master. Today we record. Vic. We were Uncle Vic. Can we start referring to him as win. Uncle Vic? Yeah, so. Uncle Vic. Another win on his uh, impressive, illustrious resume. Um, and I don't mean a, a dog bites. <laughs> 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 this was in this was a Steeler. This was a Steeler game that he Th- won. This is his first win as a starter. Yeah, as a Steeler starter. Steeler starter. Yeah. Say that no, ten times. Steeler, Steeler starter. Steeler great. starter. Steeler starter. No, he oh, wasn't. He actually didn't no. play that great until no. the very end. <laughs> you know what he does? He was great when he counted. <laughs> you know he reminds me of it as a as also a Chiefs <clears throat> fan. Is he reminds me of Alex Smith sometimes by never. No, no, just in the first <laughs> Alex game. Smith is not even close to the quarterback. No he's shit, close. no shit. You're not. You let me finish by in the first game by doing nothing, just being a game manager and not making any fucking plays, and just letting <clears throat> your running backs do everything. That's exactly what Alex Smith does. And it looked like he was going to do the Alex Smith shit this time, and then he finally just turned up. And um, Man, yeah, he can run, man, when he gets open field. He's nice. fast, and yeah. he's an old man. Think about it. He used to be so much even faster. <clears throat> yeah, dude, he's like – he he's wants to win over the Pittsburgh fans so Yeah, I want to – I want to uh, – I, I want to – He's coming to Pittsburgh. I want to – Vic. He's going to tour. <laughs> he's winning over the Hearts of America yeah. back one team at a time. I want a Vic Steeler jersey. I hope they sign him for another year after this. I mean, you don't think they will? I think no. He's probably yeah, he's not He'll be probably won. go somewhere else if he if he wins more yeah. games. Like if he doesn't lose all of his games, he'll probably go one more. What place. if he wins? What if he wins out here? Do you think that they would they want to resign him? Goes. You don't he's think they'd resign him? He'll go, yeah, no, but he'll, he'll get paid. Somewhere. He'll get. Nah, I don't know if he'll start, but he'll get paid. If he wins to, out, maybe. Yeah, maybe somewhere that's really, really like a certain situation he could start. 
because he probably would cost. The reason why he probably wasn't in the league before it started is because he'd cost too much for a backup quarterback. Mm-hmm. You probably would pay Bruce Gradkowski a lot less than you would pay Michael Vick as your second string. But you uh, have to had to. But we had to pay gonna, him yeah. because Bruce short, went down. Yeah. yeah. There's a serious shortage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's true. Oh, it, he just seems like he really wants to win on. He really wants to do good for Pittsburgh. Uh, he, he just he plays. <clears throat> Yeah. He's gonna be like that movie, The Wrestler. He's gonna wrestle until he dies. Like when there's gonna be out soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, from dog fights to start him. Yeah, you think that's when he's gonna be the next Wesley Snipes? He'll be the next Blade, actually. <laughs> but it will kill uh, dogs. Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> just regular dogs. Vampire dogs. Just regular I was dogs. gonna say. I was gonna just say. Vampire gonna, dogs. He's gonna kill regular dogs. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep it true to, true to the story. True story. <laughs> <laughs> biopic. Biopic. It's biopic. Bio-pic. We have been over this a hundred times. Oh my god! I like the way bi- I like bi-o-pic. I like the way biopic sounds. It sounds like I've asked all my teachers, and it's biopic. I, I, it stands for biographical picture. Yeah. Biopic. You say potato, I say potato, man. <laughs> you say vampire dogs, I say real Biopic. dogs. Biopic. Now, does Biopic. he walk around with a giant, like a, like a katana sword like blade, too? Is he just cutting up dogs, or is he like yeah, punching them course. with his fists? Uh, is he like no, brass, you know brass knuckles? You know what? He's throwing steel footballs. <laughs> 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 and they're just like, they're I'm like, um. Football. What are those? What are the things in Harry Potter that you have that the that in Quidditch that the dudes have to smack the shims the shits bludgeon? with? Bludgeon, yeah. yeah. Are they called bludgeons or blu- it's something no with a B? It's something. What? I have no idea. You missed out. Oh, no, speaking of Harry Potter, I got wi- uh, Haley hooked on Wizard People, dear reader. Oh yeah, so we got what we all got. Oh, we got Wizard do People, dear reader. Show? No, it's the. It's we're, the entire first Harry Potter movie with some guy wrote his own audiobook narration to go on top of it. And it's hysterical because he never he never read the movie or watched so it. The, like, the, the, the movie. entire movie. The it entire just movie. it's like the, it's like the hour hour. audio replaces the original movie's audio. All of the movies. The, but it's no, read, just the first. Just one. the first one, and it's read like an audio book. So it's like chapter one. All right, I, we we talked about this so last time. Funny. We can't talk about it. Again. Sorry, I was just explaining it to Dan. Uh, I'm 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 trying to look <laughs> at Matthew McConaughey's You're trying to find that movie filmography <laughs> and tr- and and talk at the same time. Um. You oh, he was in Sahara. Oh, he was in Tiptoes. He was in Dude, right. he's in Rain of Fire. He's in a lot of shit. That movie's so bad. Yeah, Rain of Fire is awful. The Wedding Planner. Ed TV, though, was a good Mac- Matthew McConaughey movie. I always love Matthew McConaughey. Amistad. <laughs> he's trying to find Contact. I want to know what this fucking movie's called, too, to be honest. I I don't know, man. Uh, Angels in the Outfield? No. Yeah, it? <laughs> Days, <laughs> Day, well, it's Days and Confuse is the beginning. Uh, Frailty. Wow, he's in a lot of movies. Is it two for the money? Is that what this is called? Yeah, I think that might be it. Yep. Yep, that's two, it. Two for the two money. Two for the money, folks. That's probably Watch why. It. It's got a really <sighs> generic title, and that's why I don't remember it. But great, it's a really movie. good movie. I don't know if it maybe it just didn't do well, and that's why no one remembers it, but it actually is a good movie mm-hmm. if you if you give a shit. But, um, all right. Anything else we need what? to say about it's Vic or the Steelers? Yeah. <laughs> or the for football? How, um, about, how about, you know what? I was listening to a uh, fantasy podcast today. And they were talking about like how everyone, all the wide receivers are injured. All of them are injured this year. Yeah, like how about every- my whole fucking team is injured in the one league? Mine is also in the one Last league. Last week, the reason I lost to Rich is because everyone was either on a bye or injured. Um, I all right. Let me tell you about who's injured on my team in that exact same league: Des Bryant, Deshaun Jackson, Steve Smith, Jamal Charles. That that's there you go. Des Bryant, that's Deshaun Jackson, third, Steve third, Smith. Round. Yes, that there you go. First, Jamal Charles is the first oh, round pick. Yeah. That's the number one. And, but luckily, I was I'm, I'm gonna get the. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the Chip Kelly is a fucking joke. Chip Kelly is an idiot and a, and a retard joke. That's the, oh, sorry to use the R word, but I said retard. But. Oh God, you're stepping on toes. Um, I th- I remember that Dan said that last time he was here about that's his R word. I that's his that's that his hard R. His retard. Yeah, I'm Because you said something about me. All right, people injured on my team on the day they lost. Lashawn McCoy. All right, that, all right. Uh, Lashawn Jeffrey. Not good. Yeah, Jeffrey Watkins was questionable. Uh, Lafell was out. 
Yeah, but yours pale in comparison to mine. I know, but I was just like everybody was on buy. You have out. Peyton Manning still. still. You have He's fucking Julian hey, Edelman doing really, doing well. really oh. shitty. Yeah, he is. He got he seventeen is. points. He is. I had Cam. I drafted Cam instead, and he's doing way better than we thought. All right, but this isn't this isn't fucking Matthew Barry's fantasy podcast. Shout out. <laughs> um, but uh, what else do we want to talk about? We wanted to talk about a new the new event that happened over the last week in gaming. Yeah, there is a uh, uh, Twitch is starting to let you stream porn now. No, they're not actually. They're banning oh. fucking games left and right. Yeah, I know. Um, they're trying to keep it pure. I just want to but show don't me. worry, Twitch. It's going down. It's dicks, gonna be dicks are yeah. coming. It's gonna be people fucking jerking off and playing Hearthstone, and you can't stop it at all, at all. <laughs> I keep forgetting the the fucking things over here because the monitors over there. Um, Dan, do, how many times do you jack off during one Hearthstone game? No, I play. Do you? I I think. Oh, you know what? As a magic, because I know you play magic. It's ch- it's free magic. Uh, it's free. You don't have to pay. You, I started from the beginning, so I could earn my cards that way. It's tough now to just jump in and get the cards you need to. It takes a while. Two hundred bucks for each game. You can buy packs, but it's way cheaper than magic. All right. It, well, how's it play? Does it play awesome. like magic? No, it's completely it's different. A little bit easier. A little bit. Have you have you played uh, the? W- the other yeah, I'm a fucking beast at magic. Um, yeah, uh, I can pull a rabbit out of my hat. Yeah, David Copperfield. Um, feels all day. Copperfield feels all day. Um, did you did you, have you played The Witcher Three? No. Okay, because there's a card game in that game, and it's completely different. So I was curious if uh, underrated video game it. card game, The Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, card that's game. not underrated. That's it's considered great. the best video game card game of all time. I, amazing card game. Neil, are you familiar? No, I played like three or four games. <laughs> I forgot you're, you're strictly like, Counter-Strike. Yeah, I, I played like ever one game. of all time. Probably like seriously like eight games probably. Wow, dude. Wow. How are you? I, but a lot. <laughs> I played like TFT for like a thousand hours. So you're God, just one dude. of those kids. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I played like a thousand hours of Counter-Strike. I have never even played it. Yeah. I have nothing to say to you. What do you mean? Those are popular games. <laughs> yeah, they are popular. They're very popular games. And I always wonder who the fuck has the time to play those and put all those hours into them, and that must be you. Yeah, you found them. Okay. <laughs> I'm all of them. That's over, like, <clears throat> that's a lot of years. Well, and that's, uh, I feel like that's a good, you are a first-person shooter guy, and that yeah, that, that uh, is important with the, because I'm not. And Corey, you kind of. I like first-person shooters. Yeah. I'm not necessarily good at them, but I love playing them. I like the old, I like the old style. Like a like Quake Three Arena, Unreal Tournament Those kind. Are fun. Those, Those are fun. Those were the, the that's the kind of first person Doom, obviously. Like that's the kind of Wolfenstein, whatever. Like I like that. Even the that's new a, Wolfenstein. That's a you don't dope. have to aim. Um, yeah, it's you just true. Have to that's be probably why I like them. That's probably why I like them because there's no skill <laughs> yeah. involved. Um, but I hate Call of Duty. I you know I used to like it. Like played it for the campaigns mm. and um, yeah. I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't played. I got Battlefield 4. Like, so, like, Black Ops 2 was the last Call of Duty I played. And then I got Battlefield 4 and was sold. Like, oh, Battlefield so much better than Call of Duty. And then now there hasn't been a new. There's Battlefield Hardline, but it's it's different. It's not like regular Battlefield. So I've been really looking forward to Black Ops 3. But, oh, God, excuse me. But then, so Battlefront beta came out this weekend. And yeah. So the, that's, like, the that taste the, of. Battlefront that that 2 was, like, <coughs> one of my favorite. Yeah, Battlefront Two is also one of my favorite games ever. That was, you know, I that was the first game that I played on Xbox Live, and and like legit, like had because I had Xbox Live, but you could never get nothing to work with nothing. And that was one game where there was people that actually played it. It wasn't too many, so you weren't like the servers Mm. weren't fucked, and you could get on and play. And I remember playing Hero Battles. Mm. Over and over and over again, and then space battles like back and forth over and again. Yeah, oh my god, endless. you could just be every obscure fucking Jedi you wanted to. I just want to go ahead and say that it is such a tease that Battlefront 2 is on Steam, but the servers no longer work, so you can only play, play single player. Single player, what the fuck? That sucks, yeah. Or you can do land multiplayer, okay? Cool. I got like 32 buddies that can sit in my house. <laughs> All on laptops. I, they, all on desktops. I could probably get. I have an Xbox original, so I could probably get one from. Yeah, the you exchange. could do. Yeah, say yeah. If, we, if everybody had an Xbox original, you can land that hook up that way too. But it's the fact that it's on Steam, meaning anyone can get it 
and that has any kind of laptop because game's not demanding. But the servers like stop. They shut down the servers after, as of like last year. It would be so fucking yeah. fun to land Battlefront Two. Yeah, like it would. It, well, because you, you only got, could you do, do 16, four people. You, you can, only do you can, 16 people with the Xbox. Yeah. Like, do, I don't know. Uh, that's at least with Halo. I don't know. Yeah, you have four Xboxes, support. four person per Xbox. I think that's all you can really have in a game is 16. Yeah. I think that's the matter. Because they have so many AIs. Why? It like, seems well, like and that's lot. what. And I wondered. <clears throat> that was something that I wondered about this. Because uh, I did like that it did feel like, like at least the Walker Assault felt like a full battle. Like, it, there was a lot of dudes running around. There's sh- fucking mm. shit going on everywhere. And. Tie fighters just crashing into the ground because no one knows how to fly them, and <laughs> and um, <laughs> it, that's all I fucking watch is people kamikaze, <laughs> and, and you thought it was on purpose, and then you realize it wasn't. Um, but it, it had that feel like a battle, like a giant battle. It didn't feel like a first. It didn't feel like a Call of Duty or Battlefield match to me. Well, that's what Battlefield feels like. I guess I you're right. Yeah, really Battlefield. Well, Battlefield I, to me. Battlefield when you play like Battlefield's biggest thing had like forty eight players. Yeah. And it's a full yeah. out fucking like yeah. gigantic map. You have access to whatever you want, kill each other. The only one I've played is nineteen forty two. Oh but I'm talking like Battlefield Four, that's like it's that. It, what how you're describing is pretty much what Battlefield yeah. Four is except like, modern. I couldn't play it from third person and like do well. Like it's just like which is what I did with Battlefront Two. Yeah, I, I was a third person I, guy it, on this it was too. A first person shooting game, and I just that wasn't I what feel like it would be so game. hard to <laughs> aim. Like aim really well because I played first person even in the old <laughs> ones, but um, I felt like that was the weirder way to play it was, in Battlefront. Yeah, the, Battlefront was always meant to be a third person. Yeah, I first always played first, option. but yeah, and you have a better field of view when you're in third person too. Yeah, but this because <clears throat> the biggest thing that I found is that people can shoot you from ways far as fuck away, and you they're like tiny little specks on the map. They're like a pixel <laughs> in the distance, yeah. and they can it's fucking really rail you. Yeah, I hate. Yeah, I do hate the fact that fucking it's like two hit kill. Like, like the original one, it took like five hits to kill you. I, but even then, you can fit like was it just shooting and everything? Yeah. Just, like, mobs of people. Yeah, that was the thing of the old Battlefront. It was like there was so many because of all the AIs as well. It fe- literally felt like armies, mm. and you could like not be good and still kill AI and like crazy. Mm. And that was all the what was fun. It was yeah. like it wasn't just about how many times can I kill you. It's like how many of your dudes can I kill, yeah. and how many of my dudes can you kill? Yeah, which was awesome. I, I I I mean it is the beta. You know, it's missing a lot of things. For sure, but this is what they chose to show. Like. But yeah. it's coming out in a month. It, it's not really a beta. Yeah. It's a demo. It's really just a demo. And yeah, it, and why, I, yeah, why would they have the beta so close to the release? Because it's a demo, and they just wanted to get p- publicity for the game. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't. I probably f- and they. Obviously I don't even know if I'm gonna balancing. buy it. I still don't I, know I if I'm gonna buy it. I think that this. The lack of AI su- is that's, awful. Uh, that's it. Lost me. It was just like okay. There's no like so yeah. Wars. There is no. I didn't know. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that there wasn't any AI no, people just, fighting. Also, it's all real people. I mean, it's like a lot of people. Yeah, it is like, a fucking lot of the, people. The current generation of systems can do like about like yeah, 48 right. total. It's like 24 on 24. Um, so you have a fuck ton of people, but it's, it's because near, it's like, it's you have you have a bunch of people that are just really good then yeah. killing each other instead of like dumb AI to just like kind of plow through and and like get your numbers up and stuff like that. I want and to learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I oh sorry, no, <clears throat> the f- the thing I feel like is um, it, it, like all we're talking about is how it's not like the old one. But on all these channels that I've been watching, they talk about how it's not enough. It's too casual, and it's not enough like a well, like a, a modern shooter. Mix, it's a bad mix of the two. Yeah, that's what I think. Two, yeah, you're. you're right that's though. right. That you know that's what I was thinking as well. Is it seems like they tried to find a balance, and it's not mm. a good balance. Personally, I wish they would have made it more arcadey, because that's what the old one was. But. I don't know. And then, and I said that on a thread, and somebody was like, I think, what do you mean it's too arcadey? And I was like, what? And they they must have fucking... Well, I can see it from their end. It's a, not a great first-person yeah. shooter. No, it's not. It, it's, they, a, it, it's a shitty first-person shooter. It's a shitty third-person shooter. It's like... It's, it's a flip at me, yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no way to do it. Oh, yeah, but this seems to well, make... there is a way. This is just a <laughs> way. Yeah. There's pro- they, they can probably retool it. But I don't know. I think that this one is like an experiment, and they could look have the engine in place, 
And then I think it's the next one. It's a beautiful game. It yeah, looks it looks great. great. I do sound, think it's a little flat. I, I think I think Drop Zone lacked a lot of depth. I um, see. I, only, I didn't play that one nearly as much as Walker Assault. I played Walker Assault a shit ton. That's yeah. like basically all I played. In even mm-hmm. even with the balance issues, it's still fun. I still had fun. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, it's so that mean I, I think I'm probably still gonna buy the game. Yeah, I'm probably <laughs> gonna buy the game. Um, I'm a little upset I'm about the DLCs are all preset. And like, it seems like the the there's really not a lot of material like shit that is. Yeah, there's no story mode. No, there's no story mode. It sucks. And like, I, don't care about I no, love the story no. mode. I love the story well, mode. Well, it was the story mode was like well, you just play through the fucking games, and there's a couple uh, you know expanded universe things we'll put we'll put in between. Um, but I don't know. It, I don't know. It should be good. I I just I feel like there wasn't a lot to it. Like all the menus. Like you could see all the grayed out things you couldn't do yet, but it really didn't feel like there was a lot even there to do. Um, and it's it, I you know, have to add a level customization somewhere though soon. I don't. Yeah, they maybe for PC. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, there's I don't know no classes weapon, at all. Just, yeah, there's no class. You get to pick from one of five guys. Well, then again, the beta. There could yeah, and there's, there's no classes. I mean. There's like not going to be classes. Oh, they have to have something. some classes. They like, said there's no classes. Oh man, but like the old front had like fucking. It's loadouts, there's, just like every no, other shooter now. There was no sniper now. rifle, though. There was yeah, like that just means battle. No, there was a sniper class. There was a sniper class. No, um, in the new one. The old one. Yeah, I'm talking about in the new one. The new one, there's a sniper rifle because like yeah. it shot with it constantly. It's a cycle. Which, which one is it? It's called the cycle rifle, and you had to play long oh, enough to unlock that, it. Oh, the cy- Okay, that was the cycle rifle. Oh, this is that you only get to use that once, and you have to fucking wait for the cooldown to use it again. That's more of like it's supposed to be meant to like a sidearm. I think. One of those I don't know. I thought that it was one. Of, it's it's definitely one of those weapons. I get killed with that gun all the time. Yeah, no, the cycle rifle is the long range one, but I wouldn't. I didn't know. I wouldn't consider it a sniper rifle because you get one, and then you got to wait like 15 seconds for it to recharge because that's a cooldown. <laughs> yeah, well, people just fucking rail me with it. Whatever, whatever it is, I get killed with it constantly, and I don't know, and I didn't get to use it. I unlocked the pistol, and that was it, and that was cool, but I was the only one I really played with. Yeah, the pistol was like a little submachine gun. I did. I mean, I like the lasers, like I, as opposed to um, the Blitz. guns. Yeah, <laughs> regular guns. I like. There's a lot that I liked. I think there's a lot that is good about it. I think there's, there's just glaring flaws. That they didn't. That this I mean, is missing. It the looks mark. like Star Wars. Like it feels like Star yeah, Wars. I'll give them that. It does. They did a great job of like. I think they spent too much time worrying about the look of it, yeah. and not enough about how it oh, plays. Least yeah. From the Star Wars yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I think it plays in well enough that people will still enjoy it and buy it. That's because Battlefield is such a consistent game. You know what I mean? It is. It is. Battlefield Three was good. Battlefield Four you know exactly was good. The only Hardline th- didn't do Hardline didn't sell well because it's a completely different t- type of game. It's cops and robbers yeah. on a very small scale, yeah. you know. Versus, I heard though it's good. It's a good game. It's just not like not people. Battlefield. People thought it was gonna be like Battlefield, yeah. but in the city, and it wasn't because it's not meant to be. Because like, Visceral Games made that Di- Dice only pu- like oversaw it, um, and the, I think they did a good job on it. I, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, gameplays of it and stuff. I haven't played it personally. I want to, but I just never pulled the trigger on it out of fear. Um, that it wasn't gonna be as good as I thought it was. But with that said, um, I don't know. I think it looked. I think it turned out good. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm probably uh, gonna yeah. buy it, but I'm not excited. Yeah, I'm not. I know it's not gonna be what I want it to be. Now that I, I think playing the beta just you know helped me understand what it is, and I still you know it still had those moments though. Like when you're in the fucking hangar and you're running and the fucking walkers right outside and you just watched a bunch of dudes get railed. Like I don't know, it was just really cool. It was cool, and there was a lot of really cool moments. It just won. Do you think it's nostalgia I, though? Yeah. You it, over? Well, yeah, it is. That's what I mean. That's what it's it's all about. Yeah. I don't know, but a game can't last on just nostalgia. Uh, I feel if like it's, if it has a battlefield behind it, yeah. But it, it's not. It, it it doesn't though. Like when I, like all right. Like if a new Battlefield came out, that was like Battlefield Five came out like at the end of the year. I think I would pick that up over this because it's a solid on one way. You I know, would. I wouldn't because I, I, would, I, I don't. I like Battle. Well, I like Battlefield and, and it, I like Star Wars. So I would have rather than it's drawing a lot I, of people. That's yeah. the point. Is that this is a game for a wide audience. This I know, but I just feel like that it, the gameplay players. wise, it didn't execute. Like it doesn't like it should have either went all battlefield or all battlefront. No, they're gonna like gameplay wise. I mean, there's good elements in both gameplays that they need to draw from. I just think they it's imbalanced right now. Yeah, it it just doesn't work. It I mean it works. It just could be better. And you know they could do 
the space, but ba- then you know the space battles are gonna be not anything like the old ones. Yeah, like, I think I'm looking forward to the space battles. Though. I think they'll be good. Though I think they could be. I don't they're know. They're not actually like in space, right? Aren't they just like on planets in yeah, the sky? But, yeah, like but in fighting? the sky. Yeah, they're in the. I think in the skies. Um, well, I mean, I play. I don't know how much you guys tried to use the the uh, planes, not the planes, the ships in the um, battle in the regular battlefront or Walker assault, mm. but they are really hard to use. They're I really, mean, really fucking fast. Primarily. They're really, really fucking fast, and uh, like you're just like across the map in a moment, and you miss everybody, and then you just crash into a mountain really fast. Like it's a lot of crashing over and over again. I, I mean, I used the ATSC, and I like it was the easiest thing to use, but it still it was even hard. I felt like like other people were kicking my ass with it, and I like couldn't do anything with it. Yeah, I didn't get. I did not get a chance to be a hero though. No, I didn't, wait, you could have been a hero in the beta? Yeah, you there's How? all the yeah. it's all those Mario Kart coins. <clears throat> they get randomized and they can be any you, Wow, I didn't get one single one of those. Yeah. Like I got the coins, but I just got like power ups like turrets and shit. Yeah, I don't like the Mario Kart coins. Man, I didn't know fuck. Well, that, I liked I'm upset I didn't get to be a hero. I liked seeing like a, you could just see a fucking uh, vehicle just chilling there and walk in and get it. That was something that was in Battlefront and Battlefield that mm-hmm. you can do that I don't understand why that didn't come into this game because it's in both of them. <clears throat> yeah. I just want to walk up to a fucking uh, X-Wing and take off, you know? Yeah, and I also didn't like, like now, I didn't play much Walker Assault. Uh, the drop zone was pretty much domination. You just pretty much captured a different look. Every time a new pod came in, you had to capture it. Um, now, I liked old Battlefronts because you had just two fucking sides of a territory and you had to pretty much defend and over try to overtake just one of the sides and it was just an onslaught of ai and people going at it and i like like the one uh, 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 level on kashik where it's the droids versus uh, the the people or the, the wookies you know and it's just a fuck it looks like d-day yeah on this fucking yeah because there's this armies of uh, wookies and yeah and, then just... on, and through the water comes the fucking uh, uh they literally just looks like d-day there's the fucking boat things and they open up and all these fucking like robots come yeah. out like that's what I'm looking forward to, but you need like a hundred things on screen at once, like at least a hundred enemies on one, like because that's what that was. It's was all AI though. Yeah, you know you this you know this just made me want to go get Battlefront Two. Yeah, I think I might just get on Steam, play the missions. I have it on Xbox. I have it on X. Or I have an Xbox, so I feel like <clears throat> that's what I want to do. Yeah, get it on Xbox. Get it. <clears throat> no, no, servers aren't no, you I just land. get I just get multiple controllers. Your, no, your, what I was gonna say is your um your laptop can handle Battlefront too. It's a PS2 game, X, an OG Xbox game. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> yeah, you're right. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, and then we could just land, get a little hub. That would be cool. I don't have to read into it, but yeah, then we could do gameplays of Battlefield, Battlefront, two. You gonna sneeze again? I don't know, but it's making my eyes water. <clears throat> don't. I'm sorry. Don't. I'm fighting back. I'm sick. Don't. Yeah, no, I'm going to be sick for next epi- next week's episode. Uh, hopefully, I won't be dead. Hopefully. This sickness kills me. Are you down with the sickness? Hey, don't take one of your chairs. <laughs> yeah. You don't like that one? What? You don't like that chair? I don't know. Just what you said. It's an important chair. Do you want my chair, boy? You got it for my job. You got it for my job. You, you got it for my job. Sick. <laughs> sick. Yeah, you guys sound like fucking congested over here. I am. I took a decongestant too, and it's not working. Um. Uh, so what else is going on? Was that all we have for Battlefront? I mean, That's all I have. I mean, I'm. I was disappointed. Overall. I. I, I, don't know. I was it, so it hyped. Was I think I, I overhyped was. myself for it. It was what point. I thought it was, which I I was honestly afraid it was going to be Battlefield, and I didn't want that. I didn't, and I it wasn't. It was. It's a little bit less than that. A little bit. Mm. I, I didn't you know appreciate that, but I feel like there's a lot uh, to grow on, and I feel like the second one they will probably get it right. Like the the yeah, but it took them so long to make this one, so I feel like the second one's not going to come out for at least three more years. Well, now they have the engine. They, that's the hardest part. Yeah. Then, then you just add shit to the well, exist, en- what no, already exists. The engine they made for is just a modified version of DICE's Frostbite engine that they use for Battlefield. This is an updated version of it for, for the current gen. Well, yeah. 
No, but I mean, like, that's... I mean, that it's not like they the, made a new engine from the ground yeah, up. Yeah, but that's... Well, I know, but that's <clears> what <throat> I... I remember in E3 for years, that's all they ever fucking showed. It was like, check out the new engine. Check out this engine. Yeah. Check out in-engine footage. Like, that's what they wanted to fucking show off. And I feel like this time, it'll well, maybe... That's why it looks so good, because it plays so well. Yeah, but it plays all right. It just isn't what we wanted. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about sensitivity. PC oh, yeah. way too sensitive. It's you can't aim for shit on that thing. It was there's no audit, there's no aiming also. assist like I, usual first person well, stuff. Yeah, I, I yeah. Yeah, I, but I I don't that. I don't have a good setup to set up a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, the, the well, tell it to console gamers. They I've, only have controllers. I thought the sensitivity was high though, even on the PlayStation. Really? Yeah, yeah, but I don't play real like I know that <clears> most. Um, console first person shooters like people that are really good at them play with like high sensitivity and I can't I play with a lot of high it's just sensitivity like, on Battlefield when you just over a fucking and just yeah. one little tap and you're on the other side of the like screen 8% sensitivity and I like could not do slight movements at all yeah that's uh, not a lot of sensitivity I know and it was still <clears throat> super sensitive that's like, like she said What was that? My sensitive, sensitive my, skin. My sensitive thing. So sensitive you are. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, I realize. Actually, that's my today's episode is brought to you by the popgh.com. People of Pittsburgh getting hard. Fisting. One fist at a time. One, f- changing your lives one fist at a time. Um. All right. I guess we got a f- we got some things that we can plug. Um. I have no idea what time we're at. Can't see that far. Really, you need some uh, some spectacles. Oh, I know, I know. We're thirty eight. Oh, all right, cool. We got time. Um, <clears throat> Anything else in the docket for today, sir? Oh uh, well, I I don't know. I I feel like it's we should mention that the the game dropped a new album, and I heard that it's pretty good. And and are you uh, he's had some good stuff earlier in his career, and I feel like I need to say it just so I remember to listen to it. Let's see everybody posting about it. And I honestly slept on this album. You want any you get any you give a shit? You I know? I don't think I've ever listened to the game. He's all right. He's all right ever. guy. He's a swell fellow. Swell fellow. A good guy. Does he do good things for his community? Yeah. No. He he fights with rappers a lot though. He on Twitter and thing and whatnot. But locally, there's a few releases this week. Um, already out is is if from What If Studio. Uh, his beats for rappers four released. I love, I love the artwork on that by the way. Yeah. How about TK like, well, made that? TK Cavi made wow, that. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Looks like one of Lil Wayne's yeah, albums. With a cat. And it's got the It's like an odd future. It. it was like an odd future mixed with Lil Wayne album cover. <laughs> I liked it. Uh, it's his yeah, beats. Really it's a beat tape because uh, he's a producer uh, out of Springdale, Pennsylvania. That's where his studio is. I think he's working on moving, though. I can't remember where. I think he's moving not far from Springdale. No, not far, I don't no. think. Still going to be in the relative area, but not necessarily Springdale. Um, another one of our friends, Corio from the Justice Street Poets, has released uh, Swank God. Swank God has released a single called "Stand Tall, Black Man," <laughs> off his upcoming project. Uh, some kind of some wonderful. kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. Yeah, some <laughs> kind of wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's <laughs> <laughs> what that's what we do here. We love puns. <laughs> Um, and then also, I believe Thursday, friend of the show, Joel Kellum, the Chill God, will release li- his living single EP. And if you've seen the artwork for this EP cover, there's a big old bitch on it. Hopefully, it, it that right there is the feel of the whole EP. Yeah, it, you know, it just arouses you. <clears throat> Makes you just want to get women to feed you chicken nuggets. Suck your balls. And eat your butt. One ball at a time. <laughs> One hole at a time. One butt hole at a time. Um, yeah, I guess it's all for plugs. But you know what? Uh, just a few a few uh, last things. I did see that they announced Ant-Man and the Wasp or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Ant-Man get a sequel. They're pushing back Thor 3, That's I think, hilarious. for Ant-Man 2. It's because Thor two did really, really yeah, bad. No, the th- no, all the no, Thor no. movies do bad. But this what sucks. It's like, like the first Thor-, Thor movie didn't do bad. It was just, it wasn't, it, 
It was because it was I the first Thor movie. I didn't it did see, well. I didn't but see But it wasn't it wasn't as good as any of the like the Thor properties are probably the weakest link in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. Which sucks because Thor's a really good character and Chris Hemsworth does a really good job. But Ra- I'm Ragnarok excited for Ragnarok. Sounds dope, yeah. I'm really excited for Ragnarok. Because now they're saying it's like Thor and Hulk in space. <laughs> yeah. Just hanging out. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just Thor, Thor, Thor and Hulk so, in space. Yeah. Teaming up. Fighting baddies. I thought, you did your, I thought you did your fist. No, I did, they're clapping hands. They're touching, touching tips. Touching dicks. <laughs> they sword fighting um, for, for justice. Um, yeah, that should be good. Ant Man was really funny, so uh, I'm glad to see that they are just uh, shoehorning a uh, another movie. A couple, of, two movies. Is the Wasp getting her own? No, no, no. Ant Man and, and, and the Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp. Because I think one movie. I saw it advertised as the first Marvel movie to have a female in the in title. The title. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, which is the Wasp. Yeah. I hope they die. And I also like Thor. You liked Thor? <laughs> Both Thors or yeah, first Thor? Both, both <laughs> I <laughs> I wanted to see the second one because of Christopher Eccleston. Uh, Christopher Eccleston is the bad guy and he's the, yeah. the ninth doctor. The second Thor is very lackluster. Yeah, that's the one. It was it just they, all right. Malekith was just Malekith was just not very menacing. He got the shit kicked That's out of him by Thor's Eggleson. mom. That's the doctor you're talking about. Yeah, he got the shit kicked out by Thor's mom. What's your fucking mouth? That's the, my favorite doctor. I'm sorry. It just he was not a good villain. Well, and you know why? It was, because it was they didn't give him anything. Yeah, he didn't, they, I don't think did he even speak English in that movie. He didn't he just speak Elven? I don't words? remember. I watched it on a plane to Europe. You know what he's remember. the bad guy in? That he's probably an that is an awesome villain in. 28 Days Later. He's oh. that the fucking sergeant guy okay, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ever see that movie? Well, I'm thinking about Civil War now. <laughs> well, what? Marvel, uh, Marvel, oh, Marvel Civil War. Marvel Civil War. It's, it's just, that's all I can think about whenever Marvel comes out now. Dude, never. Next, next, dude. What well, what they say about spring, Infinity gonna War is going to cost a billion dollars to make? Yeah, so, okay. So Infinity Wars is two movies, but they're shooting it at once. So it's going to cost roughly... Including marketing and everything, one, one billion, billion dollars. dollars. That's good. that's insane. We're not, um, we're not and and fucking R D J Robert Downey Jr. He is getting paid as much as every, all the other actors combined. He also probably gets points too. At this point. <clears throat> he also gets his dick. Sucked. He also gets back end. And, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm like he, so he gets, gets to put it so up. He's the gonna make he ma- him himself is making the rest of the cast combined. So he makes fifty percent alone of what the cast makes plus back end. And then one year supply of cocaine. <clears throat> he doesn't do, he's not drug anymore. He cleaned up. Yeah, oh, that's what the that's for that's the kids. What, how do you R D J is for the kids. Do you hang out with R D J? Yeah. Like, dude, he parties hard. In his East Malibu apartment he complex. Parties hard. He owns the whole thing. He parties hard. Yeah. We hang out with Christopher Walken. We do lots of... I think he's clean and Iron Man's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think I think no, no, I don't. I'm, I'm not hating. RDJ. I think he loves drugs. I, I'm yeah, not I don't hating. Think he him. used to love drugs. Yeah, I don't think he does. Used to really love drugs. <laughs> I don't think he loves drugs anymore. He loves drugs. No, he might still love them, but he just can't. He's a fan. Of, yeah, he's just a fan. <clears throat> Dan, funniest thing you saw all week? Funniest thing I saw all week? Yeah, oh, crack a joke. God. Make me laugh. Why? I don't know. What? Why? Because you haven't been talking much today. Morning. Funniest thing you saw all week? Finale again? Again? How many times have you watched it? The finale was like the worst episode of the season. I disagree with that. I, I thought it was think very that. sad. I wish Mr. Poopy Bottle would come back more. That's I, I wish that Bird Person I was, was alive. I wish that Bird Person didn't die. Yeah, Bird Person was a cool character. <laughs> that was a shocker. Uh, jaws dropped when yeah, I watched that. Totally. Balls dropped. Also. Alienized jaws to the floor. That was a very m- maturing moment for many a man. Yes. We all had to come to grasp with things. Life ends. Yeah. Whether ball, it be bird ball, person drop. or bird person. Or turd person. <laughs> or turd person. That was the funniest thing I saw all week. What about you? Mm. What was the funniest thing you saw all week? I'm looking at it. <laughs> this is old Danny with his dick fingers. <laughs> you still haven't answered that question, by the way. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I said I, 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 I took fingers. I won't ever. ever. I won't ever. I'd take the fingers. Uh, what was the what was the other one? Dick fists or dick fingers? Yeah. yeah two dick, dick, fists. dick fists or dick fingers? Yeah, probably. I mean, you can't grab anything with the dick fingers, right? Well, I mean, yeah, that, I think <laughs> the like thing you, was like if you can't, if you got them hard, that, can you do this? Yeah. Could I do this? No, but I think if you got them hard, you could do this, like straight, like 
You could do this. So you just couldn't bend them. Yeah. They just, they just be rigid. Bend. Unless you had all gonzo dicks. That were just curved. Yeah, what if it's a just a claw a claw motion <laughs> but alright I think that'll do it that'll do it that'll do it today's episode brought to you by Tentacle Dicks and the letter Q for qu- for qu- quacks I knew you wanted to say queer no I, I didn't yes, yes, you whoa, did whoa, I, whoa. Whoa. Uh, I was gonna say I, yeah I was gonna say quack I know, man. I, you you, no. you stopped yourself. I said qu- something. quack. You were gonna say something gonna say. offensive. No, I wasn't. I it, you, have I ever it. stopped from saying anything offensive in the past? I no. can smell it. I just come out with it. Queef. All right. I'll try to keep it PG with quacks. You know. Yeah. Little yeah ducklings. Little cute mother, ducklings. Uh, mother ducker. For the kids. Yeah. For the, a, yeah. You're being a sick mother ducker. Sorry, man. Sorry. Man. You duck yourself. Sorry. Duck and ducker. Mother ducker. All right, we're calling it. Until next.